Well, one of the first beds that visitors see here at our studio gardens is the garden actually here on the north side of our barn. And that's the reason that we chose it as a place for our anniversary garden. And one of the focal points to this garden is the flagpole here where we have had a company make an anniversary flag and of course we fly this one below the American flag and again it really is a very visible part of the garden and really means a lot and we've had a lot of positive comments on it. And of course we couldn't do a lot of these things without our anniversary sponsors and we have those recognized in a sign here where we have 11 sponsors that have contributed money to Oklahoma Gardening as a result of our 20th anniversary. And again, we really want to thank them for all their support. But I think probably one of the most interesting things that people comment on is, again, how we've used the Joseph coat to spell out 20th here. And we've got the two, the zero, and the T and the H, and we trim it on a regular basis. And again, what we're using is Joseph's coat. Now, it's in the amaranth family. It really responds to shearing. It takes a while for it to fill in, of course. This one, you'll know, is a little bit different cultivar from the one behind me because the leaves are smaller and a little bit different color and variegation. But if you enjoy doing these types of things in your own landscape, Joseph's coat is one that you really can't beat, again, because how, of how it responds to shearing. Now, it will put on a little bit of a flower we have some blooming in another uh, bed location, but it's really not showy. So this is really grown more for the foliage. And in amongst the 20, we have some Penta. It's a new cultivar called New Look. It's a pinkish color, a little bit more of a hot pink than the traditional uh, faded out pink that people are used to. And it's a little bit lower growing. And that's also referred to as star plant and pretty easy to find. The ones back here in the back though, is Aranthemum, and it's a tropical plant that is really grown for its foliage. It doesn't put any flowers on, it's just variegated foliage that'll get a little bit taller on us. So you can start to see that in this bed we're using various shades of purple or red to highlight our color scheme. So again, an interesting one that you'll see probably in the foliage plant section of your garden center. Now this one is referred to common name as Mexican Petunia. The genus is Ruellia, and Ruellia is one that is quite aggressive in the tropical parts of the United States, or in southern Texas even. It will overwinter and it becomes quite aggressive. And we've just sheared this one back so it doesn't get too tall for some of our plants in the back. It can overwinter for us in Oklahoma, but it doesn't become a pest because it dies down and comes back from the crown each year as far as the standard one. And you can see the delicate, pretty purple flowers. Now the last couple of years they've introduced this new one called Compacta, or sometimes you'll find a cultivar named Katie, and it stays very dwarf. It's great for the bordering of our bed. Beautiful purple flowers again. And the reason you're seeing this dead stuff in here is because it's gotten so hot they've wilted down on us a little bit and so the flowers actually dried up on us when they wilted. These will take full sun or partial shade. Now a little bit of height on the eastern side of this bed is uh, achieved by using Vinca. And this is a new one from Park Seed Company called Passion. It's kind of a purplish violet color with a yellow center or a yellow eye. Actually, in the full sun like this today, it's, it's washed out a little bit. It looks more red color than purple, but when you get it in partial shade or a little bit of overcast skies, you can really see the purplish color with the yellow eye. And it's a nice one. You can see it's a little bit more upright. It likes the heat and the dry weather. And actually, it kind of stalled out a little bit on us when it got too cold earlier on in the season. Now, another new one from Parks is this Pacifica Red, and you can see the comparison here. And look at the picture in the magazine. It really looks a deep red, and it tells us that it's the first red vinca. Well, of course, Mother Nature takes care of that. It faded out a little bit, so it's quite not as red, or quite, it's not as red as the picture, but it's still a nice color and a nice alternative. So. I tell you, this garden was planted and designed by some of our Oklahoma gardening volunteers and they have done a great job and it's one that you can see if you try to come out and see us this summer here at the Studio Gardens.